You're good, Howie? Yeah. Wow. Afternoon, guys. Uh, a very hot Saturday afternoon. Like, it is at least 30 degrees. Actually, it is 30 degrees, isn't it? Me and Howie, uh, heading up top and it's going to be a pretty cool trip actually so we're actually going to be testing uh, um, my own design rigs that are coming due to come out in the market so it's our first test and that's with the big blue bottom bangers and uh, so it's been about a year and a half two years in the making with uh, black magic coming up with the design of these rigs and uh, we've got a break in the weather and me and Howie are going to go out and give them a test and Howie's got hay fever, and the little fella's a bit, uh, you okay little guy? He's a bit blocked up. You okay little guy? Yeah, rough night. It's rough night. night. It's horrible. I don't get it, so I'm alright. Oh man, we need to get humming because it is an oven in here, dude. Holy, can't stop sweating actually. <laughs> Jesus. Man, chuck it all over yourself. Start trip. Start trip. Right, so we've the uh, northerly's just started up now, so hopefully we'll have a good run up top, but I think it just might be a bit crappy and close to Nelson here out through the cut and then come right further up. Um, but man, it is an oven today, like we didn't go out early today, it's about 12 o'clock, oh, it's actually one o'clock. We went and uh Filled up the boat, went to the Big Blue, got some uh, bait. We've got the massive salmon. Actually, we're going to have to stick the salmon in the um, live bait well and defrost them, aren't we? On the way up. It'll take ages, Colin. Oh, wow. Colin, um, what do you call it? Hay fever Colin's not a guy you want to be around. He's so grumpy and angry and moody. But we need to catch him a fish and then he'll be happy. So, have we worked out how we're going to rig? Have we worked out how we're going to rig that salmon? No, we have not. Do we want to run, because uh, I've got like shark rigs or heavy, heavy, heavy like rigs. Um, we could put them on there, bridle up his nose and butterfly them. But once we butterfly them, we could actually chop along the fillet. So there's like four, four little things going. Or we want to put them on a bottom banger. Just him on the bottom banger. We on the bridle of the morning. Yeah, just up through his nose. We'll just weave the line up through and I mean, it's a good test with a bottom banger, isn't it? I feel like you want a one, the one hook rig. Like a big one. I've got big troker hook ones here, so maybe a like a stray line with a big 32 ounce, we'll just drop them down and, yeah. and see how we go. It's like a live bait top you know? The fillets themselves would be so good, like fillet each side, and chop down the middle of them because they're so big. I mean, it's a it's a 12 pound 12 pound salmon. It's giganormous. And turn to a 60 pound rope. Yes, that would be cool. But you know what happens when we um, drop big baits. That last one you got was smaller than the bait. Um, we got some squid and we got some mackerel. So Holly was saying, ah, I want to drop some barkers. It's like, dude, we've got to test these, um, test the um, bottom bangers. So it's pretty exciting that I've got my own actual rig coming out on the market. Uh, I'm going to have a video coming out on that actually. Well, it, it'll be out before this actually is. Unless I just put a lot of beeps over me saying bottom banger, a new specialised rig. But how cool is the name bottom banger? It wasn't actually my own idea to come up with the it's name. Called VB. VB. What? VB. VB. Bottom banger. Bottom banger. Yeah, VB. 
It wasn't actually, that was a name that was between um, Steve from Black Magic, Chris Firkin, um, and Mario. So we thought about that name over about three three months. And I think it was actually Firkin that came up with the name, but um, I sort of come up with the design and I was going back and forward and trying to, um, trying to get exactly how I wanted it. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the rig and it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty good on the market. It's designed for, um, designed for blue nose and it's designed for groper. And you can actually use it for uh, uh, king, oh not kingfish, snapper as well. Right, but uh, we are gonna make our way and head out. You okay, Hoey? Yeah. You're good, mate? Nice, nice. You feeling better? Nice and cool out here. You shouldn't get hay fever out here. How long, how long does it take to come right? I don't know. Alright guys, we're going to make our way up. Right, we're at uh, spot one, and as we're coming up, we've got a sow look on the weather, and it's meant to be 20. Oh, the GFS on um, Predict Wind saying 20 knots nor'easter, and uh, it is 15 to 18 through there. And we're not far offshore, and the wind is gusting through. Um, we're going to chuck some stick baits around the farm uh, for a little while and see if anything's uh, cruising around. And then we're um, going to carry on. Howie's like uh, the most unorganised, would you say unorganised or just professional? Professional. He's got his reels and his little bags in, the, in his bag in the cupboard. Or in, but he said to me I've tied a lead this time because usually we'll go up. I'm all ready to go. I use little um, Shimano straps to strap the lures on so they don't swing around and they're ready to go. But Cohen's got to put the reel on, usually tie a lead up. Have a few moans, and then uh, we're into it. Hey, little fella. Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty close. I worry about you, Cohen. I worry about you, little fella. Yeah, sure. Uh, water temperature is 19 degrees. It is roasty. Right, let's throw some stick baits, Howie. Oh, hang on. Tie her off. You gotta tie everything on. Have you got a leader? Yeah. Oh, he's got a leader. Leader. I think we might run up the middle, ho. Might be some snap around here on the bottom too, dude. Ran over the bait ball and there's not much bait there. Oh, the water's super clear. Water's super clear. You can probably see in the background, guys, it's not the prettiest. Right, fishing. That's them there, guys. Most of the JDM range will come with those straps, so you can buy these little straps. And there you go, my sticky's on, ready to go. It's a matter of doing that. Put them aside and cast. See how quick that was, Howie? How you going over there? Good, thank you. you got your lure ready? Yeah. Oh crap balls, I went too far. Jesus, that, that was a cast and a half. There's not much going on, Cully, let's go. <laughs> Four hours here at least. Uh, 
I'm ready. I'm on casting. Hey. I'm on casting already. Oh, how many fish you got so far, mate? Well, this is the last casting we're going. Oh, good bait, good bait in the middle. I don't know if I can put my gloves anymore. You got sausage hands now. They're growing. Not much going on here, is there, Howie? Yeah. Howie's, Howie's still casting, but uh, not even a chase, eh? Hey? Not even a chase. Still uh, that sow Easter, oh actually nor Easter coming over, which is doing about uh, maybe, I don't know, 13, 13 knots, maybe gusting to 15. That's how he's casting away still. Do a couple more casts and then we'll carry on I think. This one swims quite good with the uh, consistent line. What? This one's quite good with a consistent line. Oh, better. Yeah. It's working a treat today though too. Isn't it? It's dynamite. Slam. It's dynamite, Howie. Two more casts and we'll go home. You should have been recording that. What? That perfect calf on the fish. How was it perfect? Because it couldn't get hooked up on the boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Went straight over the top. Oh, yeah. oh, he's in. On camera, too. Oh, go, Howie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. That is awesome, dude. Really? Typical Howie. <laughs> Hey? What do you want me to do? I don't want to do that. I want to watch you catch a fish. There's a few there. Is there? Yeah. It'll be a good one. Nah. Oh yeah. One looks alright. Yeah, There's nothing around, so you're alright. My underwater cam going ho. Where is it, Holly? Where is it? I, I got my glove hooked inside the GoPro housing and I can't can't open it now because my finger's hooked in there. Oh, it's gone pear shaped. I'll turn the camera on. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Nice. That was a complete. Oh, not again. How was that for hooking up when I was videoing him? You jammy bastard! Oh, you're cruel too. Oh, I released him. He would be um, legal, wouldn't he? Yeah, look. You ready? He's gonna go feisty, ho. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oi! 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 Oh, okay. 77? Yeah. What's legal? He's legal? Hold him up for the camera. Oh, Jesus, oh, Howie! Sorry, guys. Let's have a look. It is stay controlled. He's nice. 77 centimetres. Perfect. Just a little fella. Good work, buddy. Oh, On cam, too. What a workout. What a workout. You've gacked him. You cruel bastard. Hey, look. I 
no. It's a rig, a rig. No rigs for you. Give me a rig, mate. You want to see that, don't you? That's good. That was right on camera, man. Last time, boy. Last cast, and we're in. Coley's giving me a turn now. Already killed, Bilby. Right. You heard it. Yeah. Did you butcher that? Butcher the turtle. another yeah you really need to chuck another one when they're all going crazy eh? yeah because they're all amped up that that one's hooked, hooked onto something and you're waiting to have a go Getting a bit choppy, are we? Oh, nice ho. That was good. No, I reckon they've moved on. I reckon they've gone, ho. They've gone. A couple more and we'll move on, eh? Well, late afternoon, me and Howie are up the top. That Sal, Sal Easter is uh, doing about 20 knots gusting over the top. We had a look around for some snapper, but there's no snapper around. So we've just gone into the shallows and we're going to soft bait for some cod. What have I got, Howie? I reckon you got a cod. Oh, right, nah. Wonky gong. Whoa! Holy! There's some weight on this one. I've got small softies if you want them. Oh no, it's a cod. Oh, it's a good one. No. Oh, 
Oh man, he, he went hard on that soft thing. Showing the pieces? Yeah. yeah. Just nothing. You didn't go. It's a, eh? You didn't go. It wasn't legal. Was it? Uh, probably, but. You said he doesn't walk for that. Well, I was doing that for the camera. Ah, it's nice in here. Out there is shit, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely crap. Holy's still got his hay fever. Poor little guy. Soft baiting for cod. It's different. It's quite cool actually. There's no pressure on us to catch snap or anything. The main reason is to try the new um, the new black magic rig I've designed. So we're just popping around out here. We're thinking we might actually get some black magic terakee terrors and go into the um, another spot and try and catch some terakee. Get a couple of fish for tea. The, sign, the sounder is blowing up. It is loaded down there. And surprisingly, I'm still hooking up with that nub soft bait. Oh, come on. I need a new softy hoe. Yeah, it's loaded. I'm going to have to... Oh, I still like it. I think we're better off using... Um... Oh, no, it's good to try soft baits, dude. We never do it, do we? I think I'd rather use a Baku. Baku's ten times, ten times better for this sort of fishing. But oh, it's cool to try a soft bait. Dude. What the f have you got, Coey? I don't know, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> What's this about? Oh, he's into a what kaka? What have you got? Seriously, the sounder is full on. Ah, oh, fish on! I know what I've got. It's going to be a cooter. Really? Yes. Yeah, yep. That's all right, we'll take him. That's bait. Howie, that's bait. What, have you got a cooter? Oh, probably. Oh, let me go. Let me go. Really? Yeah. This is a feisty cooter. Oh. Come here, little fella. Come on. Oh, he's getting near. Oh, you little bastard. Oh, stop it. There we go. Bit of bait. Seal down, Colin. Okay, I'll put Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm still, the nub's still working real good, dude. Do you want to go back in? Yes. It drifted off all that sign. Holy oh, crap! That's monstrous, huh? Soft bait there, Hope. Oh, what? <laughs> are we keeping or we just started? No, keep him. Keep him? Yeah. We're on the western side of Durville, so you're still allowed your two cod over here. How long is he held? 35 or 38. 40 centimetres. Well done, dude. There's a corner. Look at that softy, dude. Look. That's ugly. It's reacted to heat or something in the live bait, um, in the container. Oh, this is great. You just went in the live. It's scrapping. He's actually pulling drag. Yeah. I'm going to get the net for this, too. Yeah, I'm that serious. It's a serious pod. Why did the aerial come down? Oh, we... We're just Don't lose them. 
probably causes a bear cooter or something. Aye. Uh -huh. So it probably causes a berry. <laughs> what a gift. Is it a berry? Yeah. Oh. Really? Really, Cohen? Really. I was super excited about that. Hey, you both. The old wonkies love me little. The old wonkies love my little nub grub thing. Nub grub. What the hell is that? Shed or something. A jerk shed. Don't drop. Oh, drop. We're moving, let's go. Damn you. There's barracuda down there. We come up um, East Arm. We only ever come in after dark, so we've never actually been up here. And we decided we'd uh, come up and uh, have a look right up inside uh, East Arm. And wow, that place! Holy, dude, that is like a couple of places, and they must be like sleepouts or rentals or. And they've got their own ramp. Wow, this place we've just found right up the inside of East Arm is well impressive. Do you think someone lives there or that's a batch? There's another little shed just there. The boat shed's got lights on, so it's like... Well, my no, big security camera on it too. Is that a camera out the side? Oh, might be at the side too, actually. Is that the one? Holy oh, shit. I guess because anyone could. On the chimney up there, please. Eh? On the chimney? Yeah, Right, I'm going to show you guys uh, these. This, um, I wouldn't call them batches. Um, well, it's a mansion. Yeah, it's very much a mansion. Man, it is... In two normal houses. Imagine owning that, dude. The shed's not that big, though, is it? No, it's more work. Man, that is just impressive. You know, the co it you got to be rich to be able to get your own ramp put in, eh? Oh, not really? This is better than Telly's property. Well, hey, let's slap in a couple of our rental properties as well. Well, for our guests, our mates. Might be another case one. Holy. Right. That is, is that just one big place or like two? Uh, I think it's one. Uh, one giant one. It looks like two, but it should What's the square one. thing out there? See the right hand side? Shed. They've got two chimneys though. Two separate chimneys. Yeah. Well, look how big it is. You can't warm the whole house to that one. Is that cod? Is that cod stacked on cod? Could be. Well, that, uh, what can you say about a place like that? If you win Lotto, I know <laughs> where I'm buying. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I don't think if you won Lotto, you'd be out, that would cover this place. Oh. Hopefully it showed you guys uh, we've got some good footage of it because that is just wicked. You'd have to live down here to keep it up. Keep it tidy. I'm going to find out. I'm actually going to find out who owns this property. Out of interest. That is... Uh, Pretty cool up here, Holly, eh? Yeah. I like, I like. Sort of got a feel like there's no fishing pressure on here. Not a lot going on up here, but 
from the sound though. But why would Snapper not spawn up here? Like, there's no noise, mate. There's nothing. I guess maybe water temperature, oh, 17.3? Would it get, it might just not get to temperature. Would. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good dream here. I really would love to, I'd love to check out the two top places because those two little side ones there, they're massive, man. They're big. Yeah. They're, they're big houses. I've just got a house. Yeah. Right, now it seems like we're doing like a home show or something. <laughs> Hopefully I've got cool footage so you guys can see just how fucking cool those places are. But it's mint up here, so we're gonna go and park up. It's good to come up here and check it out. I bet you there's a camera on this entranceway here. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. Especially if there's two on that one shed. One's a direct one coming up that path, and the other one's a 360. Because when I was thinking, looking at the cameras, I was thinking, who? who no one could just get on the island and drive around and go there, but then I was just thinking, well, if people drive up in their boats and go up and... Yeah. Wicked. Wicked, Howie. Wicked. We just pulled up to the mooring site. Holly's dropped the barku and he's in. It is scrappy. Little well, teary. Little teaser, huh? Really? Or a baby cod. So we just fueled up, and just over there is Mr. Tally's property. That's Tally's fishing. If you don't know Tally's fishing, and if you don't. Bag. Yeah, because they're a very massive. Gurnard. Oh, Gurnard! What? See, so you know what Gurnard look like now. The old Gurnard like the Barkus too. What doesn't actually? Yeah. We'll keep him. Well. Yeah, Muzz, Muzz will have him. Muzz is keen on, keen as on the Gurnard. Good work, Coey. We've got some young chap on a tiny inflatable rocking it up through the mussel farms. He's all over it. That property up the top that we just looked at um, was so impressive. Um, I don't think the video probably did it any justice. It's meant to get up here and uh, before before dark actually. That's our first ever trip up into East Arm. And it's quite cool up there. That mooring, you could, you could sneak on that mooring, I think, overnight. Howie's back in. It's left-handed, Howie. I don't want to practice left-handed. I'm going to change the handle side. I can't believe you've got a good gurney. Maybe we should chuck a, um, oh, what? Look. Yeah. Might have to get like a 45 grand Marku Marku down, dude. What's the Marku Marku about? Don't you know what the Marku Marku is? I'm top man. I'll show you what I'm. Don't you growl at me. I've got to show Ko um, Koei the Marku Marku. Who would have thought after all this the mooring site's going off? <laughs> right, so Marku Marku. Koei. Oh yes. So you get your standard Baku Baku. 
Now this was the scorpion. Remember oh, how we used to call it scorpion? Yeah, 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 it's now called the Maku Maku. Alright, bit of a change up. Bit of a change up. So it's also going to be a wee bit different than the scorpion. Yep, so a wee bit different. So we're, we're doubling the skirts guys. So we're going to put one black skirt on there. And feed that through. And then the next black skirt with little pink uh, add-ons but they're I can't tell you about them actually <laughs> they're all hush hush and then your hook set oh that is a another good are you really holy yeah you gotta show the camera that one yeah it looks really tiny in the camera still it's a good one it's probably Oh, that'll be nearly 40 centimetres. And then onto the hooks and a five turn uni knot. <laughs> every um every hook or rig, I always use a uni knot. It's the only knot I ever really do. Except for the chain knot for kingy jigs and all that sort of carry on. But if I bust off out there, I'll either use a modified Albright or I'll um use power. I don't trust your knots, Khan, so I don't use you. Um, a modified Albright, or I'll chuck on a suffix wind on leader. Okay, there you go, Howie. That there is the Maku Maku. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks nice. How good does that look? I'm not sure why I'm doing a little. So would you say, Howie, casting casting out and pulling in is the way? Yeah, that was better. They got into it straight away. So can you see the maku in there? Holy crap, maku's awesome. Except I hooked the hook over the top of the hook. What did you do with, um, have you stopped barkling? I thought you were going down with Marku Marku. It wasn't really depressed the snapper fishing because we know there's no snapper yeah, up here, dude. Oh, serious? You got one? No. Oh. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe you got two. Do you want me to get three or? But, well, I don't know why you're not fishing. Because I don't want to. Is there a little cold? Well, something to do instead of oh, sneezing no. and being. I'm just enjoying or whingy. I'm just enjoying nature at the moment. Oh Christ. Saving my fishing corral for the morning. Mario will be happy if you get him gurned, mate. Mate, I've got him too. You dad gone too. Okay. Do you want to put the Baku back in? Because the Marku's not playing ball. Yeah, do you want to use it? Alright. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. How is the seren serenity here? The what? Serenity. That means it's calm, Holly. Yeah, and quiet. Super. Now that the boat stopped. Yeah. I don't know if the camera's recording, but uh, the Maku Maku got an octopus. I put the um, GoPro down and he's decided he's going to have to attack that, actually. Look at it, he's going to bite it. Oh, damn. No, Mr. Oki. Bad off. Let him go when he brings it out. Oh, he's coming up the. Here you go. Whoop. Whoop. He is cool. Whoop. Doesn't like the camera much. Put him in the water, Howie. God, we don't want horrible shots. Not too far. <laughs> far out. You're tough today. What's in his mouth? I don't know. What is that? He's been chewing on something. Tiger Maku Maku. That's cool, eh? Do you want octopus for tea? Oh, We don't really have any food for tea. We were a bit unorganised, eh? Yeah, just too casual. We're too casual, but I think we've got um, Aki Sushi. Right, we've had enough playing with this guy. Oh, oh. That's awesome, Howie. Why don't we could just put a whole Opti down for grapefruit bait? That would, that will be a good bait. 100%. He's coming aboard, isn't he? Um, how do we kill him? I don't know how to kill him. You bite between his eyes. I'm not biting between his eyes. You're biting between no, his I, eyes. Hey, take, take my back. 
<laughs> I'll take that because I've, I've got to hold the rod while you get them. You're not getting them? You're biting between his eyes. I'm not touching his eyes. Oh, I really wish I watched Josh James's video on this. Actually, I did watch your yeah, video, Josh. Between the eyes, but not that I don't think I don't think Josh is watching this, but um, I did watch the video. But I don't want him to touch me. There are crabs. Yeah. I don't know how to kill them, dude. Like seriously. <laughs> oh, can we? Well, here we go. That was going to be really good fresh bait. It would have been. Squishy hole. But I wasn't keen on killing them, to be fair. Well, well I don't really know how to kill it. You know, you bite. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Just bite through his eyes. You could have just got the uh, bat out. Just Smacked him. <laughs> Give him a tenderizer. Hey, he actually would have been a wicked bait, dude. Mm. He would have been mint. No? no? Me. What was that? It wasn't me. Oh, that would be a gurnard. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've cut their throats. We're just bouncing the maku maku. And the baku baku off the bottom. Oh, he's casting it out. Keeps a tap every time. I just dropped one before. Oh, we've got two gurnard and an octopus. That's quite cool to be at the mooring site. I feel it's going to be an early night though. I've got a burning suspicion. But that's alright because we want to get up early. Get out, um, give these new, new rigs a good thrash, see if there's any changes we want to do. Oh. Give these new lures a thrash and get out before the wind picks up. It's meant to come in about nor'easters about 10 o'clock. That wind's died right off now, eh? Should go back out for a snapper ho. My drag's fully locked. Yeah, do it, do it. Oh, a, a huge kingy just went past. Holy shit. I'm, I'm fairly certain I got him on underwater cam, but that is biblical. Go. Holy go. Oh, man. I really don't want to hook him. I thought it was a shark. I, I actually thought it was a shark. If you hook him, that's going to be cool. I'm going to get him on the maku marker, though, I reckon, eh? Shit. I'm actually going to ask you a call. Can you get him here now? Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Hopefully, we got him. That was wicked. That was a that was a big kingy. I would estimate probably 30 kilos on him. What do you reckon? Go 30. Oh, yeah, that. He was a big soul trainer. <laughs> we are having an epic. Epic evening on the mooring. Holy crap. Oh man, I hope I've got footage of him, dude. He was cruising. With chokes. I might have to be chokes out, eh? Yeah. If, if you hook him, dude, you're gonna have to just dominate. I oh, know. Like, just no mercy. Just power him. <laughs> I looked out the back, dude, and I was like, holy. I thought, because I thought it was a shark, dude. Yeah. And he just came in. Lock drag, dude. Yeah. 25. Lock it. Lock it. This is going to wreak some havoc in here, dude. This, this chug. If I don't cross the lines. <laughs> It's coming loose. This is dicing the bull. 
What was it about, man? <laughs> what did you do that for? I got, I'm so excited. If you can land a fish that big in here, in here you get more than leech average. You get mythological. Oh, really? I don't even know the word for it. Because it's God? Is it godlike? Oh, mate, we're a metre away from a mooring and that was a 30 kilo king. Just have a metre, we're on the <laughs> Oh shit! No, we're good, are we? <laughs> Shit, I, ho I so hope that I got him on the camera, eh? Yeah, I think you Why do I keep pulling it so close and just wetting myself? Well, gotta be fair, the old. I must have found mooring sites. That would go. At the gate, we just thought we saw John Dory. Eh? And they turned out we well, right, they turned out to be what's that? Nice man. Oh I'm out. So you Ooh, what do you got on? I got black magic jumbo. Oh that was cold. <sighs> That was so awesome, ho. Hey? What? Where? Hey? Did you see him? Where? On that side. Big or small or what? Uh, one, one big and two little ones for them. Right, well it's evening, it's evening now, um, Coley's having dinner, a bit of Aki, Aki sushi, and he's burling up a bit of rice, I'm just checking, chucking on Black Magic uh, Sabiki rig, 
because there's heaps of uh, Mackies there. But no word of a lie, this has been the most epic evening at the mooring site, and all the fish we've caught has been here, eh, Howie? Mm. And thing. Are you going to eat any of that? Or are you just, just going to spit the whole lot out? I'm just going to float. <laughs> Keeping them here for you. Thanks, Howie. Okay. Oh, I scared them. I scared them, yes. Sorry, Howie. I'll sort that camera out. Right, so beaky down. And wow. But yep. Oh, shit. He's a bit big. Holy crap, they're a bit. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Leave, leave, leave it there. Leave oh. it up. Look at that. That was instant, Owie. Like they just pillaged it, mate. We got fresh poker bait, dude. Don't make Do you want to? Um, problem is, is we kind of come in here. Wow, this dude does not want to come off, man. Oh, sort of there. That was a nightmare. Oh, I'm stuck. You're stuck. Huh? Oh. You're clicking on me. Oh. No, oh, I am. You're, you're barely. That was like instant. Man, there's heaps there, dude. I don't know if they're keen now. Shit, there's giants too, eh? They're attacking it, but... Oh, yep. Oh, fish on off. They're too big, man. Look at those guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't get the camera. Bring it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, Watch out, Coey. Oh, we'll be able to, um... We could put the underwater lights on, too. We'll hold them around. I told you it wasn't easy. He's psycho this one. Yeah. Well, he's, that that one's dead already, that one you put on. Really? Yeah. Oh, look, I'm on straight away. Like. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. He's on. Here he is, Howie. Start loving that sabiki, dude. Oh, you're sharp. You right, mate? You look like you're struggling a bit. Give it in the holder. Double, oh god. How am I meant to deal with two of them? First world problems. Oh, the one dealt with itself. We're uh, rocking the brand new uh, Klansman. Well, these from Swazi. If you guys haven't tried Swazi fleece, uh, definitely need to go in and uh, actually feel it because it is the most softest, comfortable fleece on the market. Hey, hey, Howie. I want to wear mine to bed tonight because it's snugly. Howie's burning up some more rice, and uh, we've had a biblical evening at the mooring site, actually. My battery's going to go dead on the camera very shortly. Very shortly? Hmm. It's got a little red thing going on. Catch a couple more for the... You're on here now. Maybe with the king's turned up. You want to do your mouth early <coughs> chum stuff? Oh, you just chuck, break it up and chuck it out. It sticks together. Right. They love it, don't they? Should have a burly bomb, dude. But to be fair, it's not like we um, ever really get much here, eh? Oh. That was big. Look at that over there. Oh, he's a little boy. He's super cute. You'll take him back. Yeah, chuck him back. All right, guys. Uh, battery's going to go dead. Been a pretty cool uh, afternoon just mucking around, really waiting to head out and try our 
um, try my own custom new to a new rig of designs. We've got that giant 12 pan salmon uh, defrosting in the live bait well, a couple of cooters, some squid, some fresh mackerel. So we're going to go out tomorrow morning and give it a good nudge. To be honest, I think I'm going to crash and go to bed very soon. As soon as it goes dark, I'm going to bed. I know it sounds like an old nana, but it's been a bit of a full-on week actually going up north to the Haraki Gulf and catching some fish up there. And now it's uh, now I'm pretty jaded. We're going to get up about five o'clock and head out. So might call it for a night, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh boy, three, three. Oh, two. three, two. Any of the midget ones throw back, but that guy's a good one. Oh god. Oop. He's perfect too. Get in here. The actual new rig of design's perfect for those size baits or those baits. Especially with the hook in that. Hopefully they're gonna get released um prior to this video coming out actually. Well this video might get a uh, release coinciding with the release of them. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be the way. Coe says he's happy with that. He's not sniffling so much now. He's, uh, I think he's feeling a bit better. How are you feeling? Yeah, a bit blown out. What do you mean blown out? Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. That's cool. We've got some good fresh bait in the morning. No, mate. Bed time. Well, it's what? It, what's it? What is the time, Howie? Oh, Oh, ten o'clock. Well, I said I was going to bed early, but. We have been slaying uh, mackerel, fresh mackerel for tomorrow. So I think we've got about, oh, maybe uh, 10 or 15 of them. I've got them in the little uh, uh, floating live bait cage. So if you want to keep live baits alive overnight and not have them in your live bait well, because without your pump gun, there's no oxygen, so they die. But we've got a little cage that we hang over the side. It's got little floats on it, and they'll stay happy in there overnight. And then we pull them back in on the way out, we chuck them in the live bait well. Well, we've got the we've got the green underwater light cranking. Holy smashing the uh, Mackies, and that light just brings the old Mackies in, brings all the little uh, plankton in, which proceeds with a heap of uh, it looks like sea lice, and then uh, brings all the Mackies in. And holy slant at the moment, that green underwater light is pretty impressive. The amount of little little things around at the moment's for long. Might leave it at that, and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, ho. Right, morning guys, it's uh, five o'clock and uh, we are just making our way out. It was a pretty good night's sleep. I don't think Howie slept very well. His uh, hay fever. Do you sleep all right or not really? No. No. <laughs> not at all. Really? Uh, poor bastard. <clears throat> His uh, hay fever was in full force, so he didn't really sleep much. Um, no wind is predicted for this morning, so uh, like five knots, I think, variable all morning till about one o'clock. And already we've got up, and overnight you can hear the wind gusting, and then you kind of don't really sleep too well because you're not sure what's going to happen. Because <clears throat> if the weather forecast is wrong, out of Greville Harbour here, you're going to come out to a, and it has happened in the past, a pretty big sea. And at the moment, it's blowing quite a bit in here. I mean, it's not rough because it's sheltered by the hills, but definitely coming over those hills is, uh, it's got to be at least 10 to 15 knots. So it's going to be interesting once we get out here. You know, once you go around the corner, if there's a swell coming in, you're in a bit of trouble. So, fingers crossed we can go fishing. We might be, be bailing first thing.
All right, team, we just made it out. Uh, Spot X. That sun in the background is awesome. Uh, the weather out here is pretty good, actually. It was quite a sweet run out, wasn't it, Howie? Yeah. We thought in the mooring there it was going to be pretty bad, but it's actually turned out all right out here. We've actually got a bit of a, uh, quite a strong westerly starting up now. Oh, not too bad. It's probably about eight, nine knots. Um, but yeah, um, Howie's a bit blousing out of doing the bait. I've got my, my hands and i got to do my hands. Oh, so you put some gloves on. Can you not touch the little fishies either? Yeah, me too. No. I can touch them. You can? Probably. So you're now I'm, I'm magically it's allergic not, to all fish. Bait. It's not dead bait. Look out the way. Do the bait. I use in Black Magic Gear since 1992. It's, uh, I'm pretty proud to uh, introduce my very own rig to the market. Right, so it's the big blue bottom banger. So I, I basically designed this as a, sort of like a heavier poker rig. So we're running a, a Black Magic KLT 10 bar O and also incorporated the skirts. So the UV skirts um, and glow skirts, super lumo skirts. Um, so basically incorporating a slow jig skirt into the rig. That monstrous 10 bar O as well and also a bit of lumo, um, lumo tube on there as well. Both ends, I've actually gone with uh, crimping both ends. So that's the monstrous KLT, a non-offset recurve. So you're only really lip hook. And the beauty of the KLTs and the 10 bar row there, it's such a small gauge, so I don't really like the big gauge hooks for poker fishing in that. And also, it's a primo hook for blue nose. And you'll also get snapper on that as well. So you could actually use this rig as a snapper rig. But generally it is made for groper, and blue nose or deep water species. On the back here we've got a little bead and uh, what we've actually done is made that bead a little bit smaller so you can actually set it and keep that skirt hard down on the hook there. We're running 300 pound tough trace on that and like I said both ends are crimped. Now why I've done that is the top one there you could crimp onto your main line and the bottom one you've got two options for uh, hooking on your sinker and I'll show you both those options. One option you can use a, a zippy tie and zippy tie your sinker on. The se second is do a breakaway and I'll generally do an 80 to 100 pound breakaway because you don't really want to lose that whole rig, leave that sitting on the bottom still doing damage over the years so your best thing to do is drop or lose your sinker. But that is the big blue bottom banger and we're about to uh, give it a, its first test. Aren't we, howie? So grab one. Oh, there you go, Howie. It's exciting stuff, actually. Uh, do you want a breakaway or zippy tie, Howie? Or your rig? I'm going to show you how to rig it up. Oh, this year, buddy? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. What's wrong with you today? I don't know. It's so tired. I'll leave you ready. What are you going to do, Art? I'll skin your cordon shit out. Right, so, just a zippy tie there, guys. So we'll do one rig with a breakaway and one with a zippy tie. So, zippy tie that on there, and there you go. That is one easy done. Uh, we're going to run electrics on these. Oh, I ain't got nothing manual. Do we, do we, 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 or do we want to... We might go electric because we're going to probably do pretty big baits, eh? Yeah, yeah we're going to um, run electrics. I know it's cheating. And before you guys get those judgy fingers out, um, I don't know if we're going to have much time out here today actually because that um, weather, as you can see in the background, looks like it's coming in. It's forecast to come into about mm, 20 knots this afternoon or but it's already dawn about 10 knots. We've got white caps out here. So I think we're going to be in and out. Have you even hooked the batteries and stuff up, Cohen? No, I couldn't because you're doing your videos, that's oh. what I said. I'll wait oh. till you finish your videos and I'll get in there. I'm not me. angry, I'm just disappointed. Oh. Oh. 
We're not going to get long out of here, are we? Right, so today I'm going with a huge chunk of uh, salmon and a barracuda flat. What are you going with, Howie? Um, oh, I don't want to go with a Mackie. We've got we've, all those live Mackies from last night. We've got all I'm them. I'll put one of them on. I'll not put a barracuda on the top or something. Because those hooks are such thin gauge, you can use like mackerel and all that and go straight down through the head. With uh, standard uh, groper hooks, you sort of rip the whole head apart because it's such a thick gauge. And these hooks fold out, point loaded, at about 30, 34 to 37 kilo. I'll be able to show you that because we were testing them up at Black Magic on the machine. How we going? You want me to do it? Yeah, back me up. I just ah. washed my hands. Oh, I know, right? You do it. No, I'm not doing it. You do it. Ah. Yeah. Cully's, for some reason, now allergic to all bait. Yeah. <laughs> like all bait, he's allergic to it. We play it safe out here. How convenient to magically get a sickness from touching bait. Hey, you've seen it. It's not magic. It's just gammy hand, it's not bloody. It's just gammy, gammy, gammy coey hand. <laughs> it's allergic to bait. Are you bridling him or what are you doing? Yeah, he's out for a nose job. Watch him though, eh? Because you might get gammy hand from him. Nah, he's a he's alive. He's not bacterial. He's part scientist now as well, Sammy. He's very emotional on this trip because of his uh, hay fever. Dude, look at that. Oh. Holy shit. I don't think we're going to get long guys, let's um, go to the spot Howie. Yeah. And we're going to go to the spot, drop this fog, can you see it coming? Okay, uh, drop, drop one, and I don't know, we may have did about 30 seconds driving, and look how much it's deteriorated in that time. It is a complete wide out out here. You can probably actually see on the camera, the camera getting all... I don't even know how well, I don't even know how well we're going to drift on that, are we? With your reversing now. Holy smokes. Trolling. I think we need to go closer to the stop, mate. Hey. Who are you to pop on the spot, really? We're out far out here. Yeah, I know. Right, that was a failure. I cleaned this lens, guys. Oh, that's cold too. Drop one failure. We're gonna go and drop right on the spot, actually. We should be about by the time we get back up. Well, we, yeah. Yeah, we'll be, actually. Look at that swell already, dude. Man, did it just go for you, We're going completely off the way now.
We're not on the, the drift and um, we're going back that way completely now. Like right, right off the spots. We didn't actually even get on the spot. <laughs> we completely went the wrong way. Oh look at the camera dude. Wow. That mist is just bloody wreaking havoc on her. Oh the whole camera's drenched. Gonna put you into the cabin actually. The that mist is wreaking havoc guys. Drop to a complete complete failure. We drifted right the other direction. It's great for fishing, you think you've got the right direction, and then you drop and uh, you go the wrong way. I can't actually see many of anything here, are we? Which way are we? Sort of drifting, so you can put a sign there. Alright, we just hit the bottom and Holly's in. Found some fish on the, um, found some sign. That, the mist out there, this mist is so fine that the camera's actually drenched. Oh man. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy going. Felt good. <laughs> Holly's uh, camera wasn't working, but that's the first ever, actually, second ever hooker on the new uh, Big Blue Bottom Bangers. And I could not be happier to get my own rig on the market. It's pretty gnarly, eh ho? Yeah. And it's of course in line with our, our whole line of unlimited bad ideas. The Bottom Banger is the name. Holly's dropped this fish and now we're going to get it. You're still on top, ho? Whoa, Howie! He might have gone back down, dude. Oh, shit! It's gone to packs now. Oh, f I don't see him anywhere. Well, we found the groper. Oh, he's got a livey on. I see we've found the groper. Gonna get, um, is that big hooer in there? Uh, I don't... There's a few big ones in there, yeah. I might grab one and chuck one on as well, dude. miserable day today. That salmon, when the pooker had it on the deck, it just went nuts and salmon just disintegrated all over the deck, so it's like a big slimy mosh pot, eh? Hey? You can't? Yeah. It's alright. 
You can just chuck a bit straight in the bin if you want. So, because those gauge hooks are so small, we've both got our liveys on. I've just run the hook up through the top of the mouth and out. Didn't want to really shut his mouth because he'll just, uh, he'll die before he sends out all those signals to those big groupers. How you feeling, Howie? Good. Your man flew stuff all right? Mine still hasn't got to the bottom. I think it's that giant bit of salmon. There you go. Holy crap, Howie's in straight away. You got a donkey. That's awesome. Um, what? Double one up. The old bottom bangers. I bet ya, both of them on the Mackies. On the Mackies. Yeah. They're too good. They're too good not to eat. What's happening here? Well, that's double as well. It's all doubles. You guys see that? There's double whammies. <laughs> Big blue bottom bangers! Whoa! Whoa! Those guys are going balls. He's a good one, huh? Bottom bangers. First day testing them. Good. Yeah. They work good, dude. That flesh got stripped off it. Shit, did it walk? I mean, it's probably not hard though. It's pretty soft, eh? Alright. Yeah. Man, that's cool. Oi! Rig Oi. works a treat, Holly. So we probably want to probably want to do a another drop, eh? Probably, yeah. While we're here? Probably, yeah. Um, we have to go. We don't sort of want two more mini, but we really want to give these rigs a go. You know what's happening now? 
Got that whole salmon? Ooh! You got the whole salmon, mate? Do you want to just put them on a banger? Yeah. Put the whole salmon on a yeah. banger. Right, we've got that 12 pound salmon and we're going to put him on one of the bangers and give it a go. Um, butterfly him? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to butterfly him, rig him up and drop him down. Ooh. Ooh. Two baits, one bait. What's happening? Alright. Just pulled off that silk. Alright. Lose my tube. Dude, I'm stoked with that. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, what you can, if you want to, you can just let the Mackies go. Yeah. Unless you want to chuck them back down on a, unless you want to do a drop with a couple of loops. Live, uh, live on each one. Yeah. Both hooks. We do, you drop a whole salmon or two Mackies, and I'll do a salmon or a Mackie. Yeah, right. Salmon almost just wants to be by himself on one hook, eh? Almost, yeah. Because they are pretty far away, so it would be alright. Huh? Be alright. Yeah, but you want you just don't want something else on the other hook. You want it to either eat the salmon or not bother. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll um chuck off two back here. Good one, just hit them all off. Did I what? All the lice are popping off. Right, that's it there guys, 12 pound salmon, and I'm going to drop him whole, oh, actually I'll butterfly him, chop out a bit of his tail actually, and drop him down as one bait. team check out that it's about probably 10 pounds now taking out a spine a couple of flaps there so that's butterflying it look at the state of that put us on the oh that salmon flesh goes everywhere they're gonna try and get it right they're gonna try and get it rip it apart and it's gonna be a feeding frenzy Salmon away. Mate, it's gone. He is gone. This is going to be interesting. Back to this again. Getting them stuck? Yeah. I knew that would happen. Got a big head. The mist is gone. Uh, slow going down. Why don't you grab his mouth and pull it? Doesn't work. I don't know why you even do it. Oh, he's uh, in. Mine's not even close to the bottom. That uh, that giant salmon's humongous. I don't know how much life I've got left in this Canon camera. Can you 
clean up this hit, Kelly. Look at the stain of it. It's, it's your job. I'm going to put them over your side. You sure do. <laughs> okay, giant salmon has hit the bottom. That didn't work out well. Holy's fish went round my line. It was going to be a logistical nightmare, and I made the executive decision to butcher the banger. We hacked it up into about 60 pieces because it was so tangled, I was going to lose all that braid. So we butchered that rig, unfortunately. But I'm going to go and drop my big Sammy back up there. Currently about 7 13 in the morning. That's it. That's it, mate. Oh, we're nearly ready to go home. Oh my god. Big salmon deploying. Yeah. Oh, I hope this is well, a look at it. It's like a burly trail. Yeah. It's its own burly trail, head, mate. Yeah, it is. It's a. Uh... Plenty of battery life. That camera is. Wait. We just can't keep that camera clean, eh? Uh, no. No, not at all, mate. Not at all. And we're drifting up. That sign looks like it might have disappeared a bit, eh? Giant salmon is about to touch down. I think I might have actually missed the bloody might have missed the well, those fish have moved on dude something's having a go look look at that look at that <laughs> Oh. 
something that's actually eaten that bait. If he hasn't eaten the bait, yeah, if he hasn't eaten that bait, he's eaten the bottom hook with no bait on it. Sixty-five meters, it's not big. Whatever it is, it's not big. Look at that. So it didn't even use any bait on the rig, it just uh, got to pucker by itself. That's the beauty of those skirts, they look like a little slow jig really. So if you lose your bait, they still work well. That is <laughs> so disappointing. After all these big baits we use, you won't get a fish as big as the bait. Or you don't even use bait and you get a fish. Whoa, fuck, he's going for it. There you go. That was the bottom hook with no bait. Owen. There is so much moisture in this uh, ear dude, eh? This is the slowest de descent bait ever. It is uh, 9 to 10 pounds though, so it's still a solid 10 pounds after we cook the spine out. And we are dropping Spot on, spot on into that sign. My huge bait can get down. Couple of bites. That's just anything that bites that's making it a big chum trail, eh? To the bottom. You got a groper fish. Oh, he's got the barku down and he's hooked up a giant by the looks of it. What a bless it, Owen. Well, they're right here, and they're on a whole set of colours away. Got a little pucker on the barku. The pucker mission's a success. Big salmon's caught nothing though. Our big bait plan's not the best, is it? No. 
Really no, nah, never pays off. But we don't get shitty little wonky gongs and stuff though, eh? You know, like never. 730 dude, and we've got our poker. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Until we do it in the south. Yo! <laughs> I'm right! I'm right! Over here. Hey? Yeah. Do you want to keep it for bait? Yeah, yeah just ditch it there, dude. Ditch it. Right, we've got enough groper now. It's pretty epic fishing. New bottom bangers are awesome, especially to get those liveies and be able to hook them without a massive gauge destroying them. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a lure fish. I'm going to drop one of the new Shimano lures coming out. Actually, it won't be out for a while, but um, Shin Shimano's uh, master lure maker gave me one of his uh, one of the one of the new Shimano lures. So I'm going to test that on a groper. They're pretty cool. Sadly, guys, I cannot show you it because it's all uh, confidential, and this will be uh, something very uh, what, you, what would you call it, Rever revolutionary on the market, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. See if I can't catch a groper. Big bait just didn't work, but I think the beauty of that is me and Holly were talking that you put that bait down, you're just waiting for a giant fish, you know. The others won't eat it, but if there's a big daddy there, he certainly will come along and chew on it. I'm going to use um, probably my energy concept and my Talica 10 because uh, the um, Vanquish and that, somebody broke the trace on that one so I can't use it. Um, so I'm going to use, use my Talica. <laughs> right, let's catch something, are we? I could use a Stella. Absolutely everything's wet too, eh? Oh, look, can everything's wet. Take us back to that. Take us back to that first patch. Yeah. The first bottom right patch. Yeah. Alright guys, that uh, that was pretty cool. I didn't have the camera running because it's just impossible to get it wet, but I just got that uh, groper, a little Talica 8, energy concept, and uh, on the new Shimano lure that's going to get released in a couple of years. There you go. Oh, that spike nearly got me. How's that? That's good. That looks huge. Hey? Right? Looks huge. Man, it's a good hooker if you can hear me. Yeah, what do you reckon? I'm wrapped with that. That's pretty cool. First drop with that new lure, eh? Right? Yeah. Get a close up of the lure. Even though I'm going to have to blur it out. It's top secret. But that's good getting down. But it did pretty well with 50 pounds. Right, you want to get a couple of cooks home? Get up. We made it back to Nelson. Uh, it was pretty good run back actually. It got pretty shitty out wide. And then uh, as we came into um, Stephen's Passage, it was a mill pond through there, still couldn't see anything. As we came back through past the Ring of Todos, it was running a nor'easter through there. And uh, 
as we came out of the Mad Mile. It was pretty good up there. Got a bit choppy as we got close to Nelson. Um, but all in all, that was a pretty cool trip actually. A bit different, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, all good. Um, especially <coughs> that those kingy, seeing those big king, that big kingy go past, and uh, catching all the um, live mackies, and uh, using the new um, bottom bangers. Yeah. My own, my own custom design rigs. That was awesome too. And to both of us double up on them, and then use the giant giant salmon, and get um. Nothing on. And then the, the, the poker hits the, the rig. Yeah. So the beauty of those rigs, guys, is they're a small gauge hook, but um, 10 bar O, very, super, super strong. And if you don't have any bait, they still work, as you just saw. But we pretty much had our groper sorted by 7.30. Um, but then I uh, tried that new Shimano lure. That's gonna be, probably be out in the market next year. That's just a sample, I don't know the colors or anything. But that got the biggest groper, didn't it? Me and Howie were talking on the way back about more so that it's all schooling fish, eh? We were dropping on the sign, and where we got that bigger fish, he there was no sign at all. We sort of thought that, and we actually think that's the same with the snapper. Hey, uh, small ones together, big ones by themselves. What, did, what was your highlight, champ? Uh, I, like, I thought the kingies done it for me. Just seeing them cruise on by like that. Yeah, that was a. That was a big kingy. It would easily have to be 30 kilo, without a doubt. That's pretty Hopefully we've got good footage of him. Yeah. Man. Uh, actually, all the underwater footage too. Especially the um, the green lights. But the old, um, all the Mackies got taken, didn't they? Did you drop two whole Mackies live? Yeah, hey. that's why I got double hook up. You got double on that. Yeah. And I had, what did I have? Um, a live Mackie. Yeah. Salmon. Salmon, yeah. So you wouldn't be able to do that with a normal groper rig. You just kill, you'd kill them. Break the face off. Yeah. Uh, but once again, guys, uh, thanks for joining me and Howie on this adventure. It's been a pretty cool trip. And uh, we'll see you next time on the next vlog. All right. Well, it's the council guy. The parking. Parking board. Oh no, we're gonna get a ticket, aren't we? Have we even got one? We might have one already. Holy boat queue! Holy, yeah, wow. What? That's a that's a huge boat crew. Queue. A huge boat queue. Holy schmoles! This is bullshit. Good?